Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of our very own podcast, Let's Talk Shop, where we get to have one-on-one interaction with the creme de la creme of the industry. This is Misakshi Singh, your host for today's episode. So today we have Gautam Singh as our guest, who is an an ID alumnus and also a co-founder of a very well-known studio in the Indian animation industry, that is Rocket Science Animation. Hello, sir. Thank you for coming here. Hi, thank you. I welcome you to our podcast. Thank you so much. So I would directly like to jump to the question. Sure. So, as you were here for our uh, NSM ju- uh, right. jury, and you must have witnessed all our projects and presentations, right. and the students must have uh, discussed about their all the processes they went under during right. the jury. So, how relevant do you think the tradition uh, today traditional animation education in today's context? So, uh, I think this is something which has not changed for the last 100-150 years that uh, of animation, right? So, basically, it's a craft. Animation is a craft. It's an art form, right? So, you really need to learn the basics uh, before you can do, you know, some of the advanced stuff. Yeah. So, some of the basics of uh, story de- uh, storytelling, uh, you know, idea creation, uh, character design, storyboarding, uh, acting, right? These are all the core fundamentals of this art form. And they are as relevant today as they were, uh, you know, the why Why do people watch films? Why do they, uh, why do they read books? Why do they, because it's about the story, hmm. right? And no matter what the techniques evolve, uh, you know, going forward, but people will always look for these basic stories. And that is the core fundamental base of animation. And for that reason, I think that it's very crucial to learn all the basics. Uh, before we start branching out into so so traditional education is fine but uh, as the time is passing we are getting introduced to many new softwares in ai so how do you see ai getting uh, integrated uh, integrate itself into animation and art roles so ai uh, like honestly speaking i have not really used ai much we don't really use uh, ai so far uh, i have not come across it but i've seen a, a couple of uh, softwares which let you uh, and i think it's great as a tool which you know helps you ideate for example you can create different uh, um, uh, images right if you enter keywords and it will generate those images for you so it may be able to assist you in uh, you know certain ways But at the end of the day, it's not going to create those magical stories for you or it's not going to create those memorable characters for you, right? That still, that is what makes human beings, human beings, right? And I don't think that's going to get replaced by AI anytime soon. I may be wrong. So as of now, I think it's it's a good tool, but you can't kind of just depend on it to do work for you. Okay, so you agree that traditional uh, education is important, animation education? 100%, absolutely. What are your thoughts for the current state of Indian animation and what do you think, where is it likely to go in the upcoming years? So, uh, I would say animation industry is actually in a good space right now because uh, I started working in 2001 and that time uh, the animation industry was very, it was very uh, new and it was very unstable, like there was no surety about anything. So, you may be working in a studio today, tomorrow it's gone, it's shut down, Mm. people are not getting salaries, Uh, you know, there were very few projects. But now, uh, the service industry, when I say uh, studios which are doing uh, outsourced animation, right, for biggest companies abroad, they are established in a big way. The, you know, jobs are secure. Uh, they are big companies hiring lots of artists, right? So, artists, there are more artists in demand than there's a supply, actually. So, uh, people are well paid, salaries are good, <coughs> jobs are stable. So, it's a good place, right? But we are still doing service work. We are just taking work from abroad and executing it. The next level would be for us to start creating content which is, uh, you know, our own intellectual property. Which So, basically, which means our ideas and we execute and create it and generate uh, income and wealth from that. That is the next level that we should be aspiring to. Like in the West, uh, studios like Pixar or DreamWorks, you know, they make these films and then they 
earn income of it for for the rest of their lives right so we are not at that level right now so we need to get to that space okay. so sir are we at the same level uh, as the uh, west animators are i mean the in india we do have same resources right. same techniques and same uh, everything but still there is a huge gap between us and the animators in the west so what do you think why is it and i mean how can we improve it okay so uh, i think the level of skill and the techniques and tools that we are using are pretty much the same now yes. right so so in fact if you if you are not aware all the films that are actually made in the west most of the back end work is happening in india yeah. right so a lot of the work actually so any film you watch spider man batman avengers whatever uh, a lot 70 80% of it would be done in india only so so that means that we are have reached the same level in terms of uh, your art 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 skills software technologies mm. right and following standards and processes are the same the only difference is that they are like i mentioned earlier they are actually capitalizing on generating ideas and intellectual property and generating wealth with it Hmm. right we are not doing that we are just following the service menta- mentality like a bpo right you just get work from outside execute it and get paid for it that's the main difference so personally we are behaving like employees and all like exactly. getting work and paid we for just it, get it. we just get work from them and we pay we finish that work and get paid for it hmm. but those guys are generating ideas and concepts which are actually generating them lifelong wealth and revenue so that's the level that our industry needs to get to Okay. But, uh, but otherwise mm. everything else is pretty much the same okay thank you so much sir, for welcome. giving your time and yeah. sharing your thoughts with us i hope that this chat will be much appreciated by all our viewers for more design driven contents do follow us on youtube channel and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates on the school and information about our upcoming workshops do follow us on instagram linkedin and facebook until then this is me sakshi signing off <laughs>